Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a WISE business account for your UK LTD. Whether you're just starting out or looking for a better way to manage international payments, WISE is a good option to streamline your finances and save on fees. Plus, I've got an extra offer for you. Use the link in the description to sign up and you'll get a fee-free transfer of up to £500. So, Let's dive in and get your business set up on Vice. If you use my link, you will land into a similar page like this. You'll enter your email address and click the claim transfer button. Next, you'll choose to make a business account since you're making account for your LTD. Your business is likely located in United Kingdom. Next, you're asked to verify your phone number. You will get a code to this number that you'll need to enter in this next step. Then you'll create a password for your account. After this, you'll start setting up your WISE business account. It takes about 20 minutes. You'll need a photo ID and you will pay the account's opening fee. First, you'll need to clarify your role in the business, whether you're a director or a significant shareholder or employee. Next, you'll search your business from the database. You will search it with the company name or company number. After this, it's time to add some more business details, such as the country, company type, registered business name, registration number, and incorporation date. Next, you'll be asked to confirm your registered address, which is the address you use to officially register your business with a government body. In order to verify your account, you'll need to enter the category of your business as well as subcategory. You'll also need to add your company website. If you don't have a website, you'll be asked to describe your company in more detail. You'll also clarify the size of your company. After this, you'll confirm your trading address, which is the place you usually work every day. If the business has multiple trading addresses, add as many as possible. Next, you'll be asked to tell a bit more about yourself. You'll add your country of residence, full legal name, date of birth, and phone number. After this, you will enter your personal address. In the next step, you'll choose the currencies you will get paid in. WISE also wants to know your main purpose for using it. In the last step of creating the account, you'll be asked to verify yourself. You'll need to take a photo of your ID document and your face. You can do this either via email link or you can scan a QR code. You'll also pay the opening fee of the account while doing this verification. After you have verified and paid, you are done with the registration. Now that we have the account open, I will talk a bit more about what to do after opening your Vice Business account. First, you'll need to verify your business account. You'll need to complete the verification process after the initial setting up. Wise will ask for verification documents such as proof of identity, such as passport, proof of address, such as bank statement, business documents, such as certificate of incorporation or registration. You can upload these documents via the WISE dashboard to fully activate your account for payments and currency conversions. Next, you'll add a bit more business information, such as your business profile and some tax information if required. You can also set up local bank details. WISE offers local account details in multiple currencies, you can activate local currency accounts like GBP for receiving payments in the UK and USD or Euro accounts for receiving payments internationally. Share these local details with clients or partners to receive payments as if you have a local bank account in that country. You'll avoid high foreign transaction fees like this. After this, you can add and convert funds. You can add money to your WISE account. You can deposit funds into your WISE account by transferring from your business main bank account. You can do this by using local payment methods. You can also request the deposit from your clients by sharing your WISE bank details. You can also convert currencies. Convert your balance to different currencies using the real exchange rate. WISE provides you with over 50 currencies to hold and convert. Order a WISE business debit card. Once your account is funded, you can order a WISE business debit card. You can use this card to make purchases in various currencies without high conversion fees. The card can be used for both online and in-person transactions, making it easy to spend from your multi-currency account. Set up batch payments. This is an optional step. If your business requires payments to multiple suppliers, employees or vendors, you can use WISE's batch payments feature to send multiple payments at once. 
This is a valuable tool if you regularly pay contractors, vendors, or team members in different countries. Integrate accounting software. To streamline your accounting and bookkeeping, integrate WISE with your accounting software. Zero and QuickBooks are popular integrations offered by WISE. These integrations allow automatic syncing of transactions, making it easier to track expenses and manage invoices. Invite team members. Add any necessary team members to your WISE business account. You can assign different roles such as viewer, employee and administrator, depending on their job responsibilities. This will help distribute tasks like making payments, managing expenses or reviewing account activity. And that's it. You're all set up with your WISE business account for your UK limited company. Now you can enjoy lower fees, transparent currency conversions and an easy way to manage your international business finances. Don't forget to use the link in the description to take advantage of your fee-free transfer on your first transaction. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.